Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss CC giving you this fall easy sultry eye look with this Too Faced Queen Dream palette. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give me the thumbs up. As always, don't forget to subscribe and enjoy. Starting off, I am going to prime my eyes using the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Glow. It is a lot lighter than what I expected, but you know, I like using this particular concealer to prime my eyes because once I pat that concealer in and get it nice and blended into my skin, it actually holds the shadows very good. So now I'm just making sure everything is blended on the outside so it won't look as noticeable whenever I do apply any shadows. Taking the Dream Queen collection again by Too Faced, I am moving in first with the transition shade named Snowball Effect. Just making sure everything is blended on the outside, the inside, on the crease, the lid, and the hood area. Moving in with the next shade called Less Kringle. It's like a orange brown shade. Very nice and fall like just like the leaves whenever they change. I'm just actually anticipating the inside of the crease area and the outer corner just above the hood area doing a windshield wiping and the buffing to do a nice blend. I don't want to go too far out or too high up. I just want to keep that right above the crease area and just above the lid area. If you wonder what brush I am using, I'm using the Morphe M441. You know, that's my baby. Going in with another shade, I am going to use this shade called Here for the Hose. <laughs> yes, I don't know where to get these names from. But Here for the Hose is like a dark ash black shade with a little bit of green shimmers inside. So I'm placing it on the outer corner and in the inner socket of my crease. Now that glitter is not showing on this shade, not even when swatched or applied on the lid area or any area that you apply this shade on. I know I wouldn't normally use a glitter or a shimmer in my crease and sometimes I actually would if they're matte enough. So this shade is actually a matte. The glitters do not actually show. So I'm just going to alternate that in 441 and that nice big fluffy brush that I used in that transition shade which was the snowball effect and just incorporate all of those blends together so there won't be any harsh lines any shade out of place everything will look so nicely blended and healthy and when I say healthy just giving it a nice effect because I am going for the sultry look and that is all what a sultry look is about just blending all of your nice cool shades your warm shades together and just incorporating each shade as a nice sultry blend now i'm taking my m124 placing this shade called christmas cookie on top of the lid now i did wet that brush because christmas cookie is a very very nice shimmer shade and when i say it doesn't have much fallout it doesn't but it does crease in the crease area especially when you have hooded eyes so i'm taking that here the whole shade and i'm taking the other brush which used for less kringle i'm putting all of those blends back together so i can get that crease as matte as possible so i am now putting another shade on the outer corner of the eye just to go ahead and blend that gradient effect with here the hose and that Christmas cookie together so it won't look so obvious. That shade I did use, I used the snowball effect on the outside corner. Now the shade I'm putting on top of Christmas cookie is called Selfies. Now Selfies is a nice glitter. Now it does have a little fallout on down because as you know when I used this palette before, if you did see that previous review that I've done on this palette, those glitters do have a lot of fallout. They really do. I just used my finger because using the brush last time, it fell completely out and I didn't want that to happen this time because I did not wet my finger or anything. I just actually just took it and just placed it right on top of the lid. Thank you. 
taking my Milani iTech liquid eyeliner, I just want to do a thin, sharp line and just pull it out on the outer corner just a titch. I don't want to go too far out like a wing or anything like that. I just need a small little line so I can blend that line into the sultry effect. The eyelashes I'm using today are by Ardell. They are the 120 Blacks. I've been using these eyelashes for a very long time. You can purchase them from Sally's Beauty, Walmart, or anywhere that sells the Ardell brand. The glue I am using is by Broadway. Very inexpensive. You can get it from Dollar General. You can get them in black. You can get it in white. I am using the black because with the black eyeliner and the look I'm going for today, I don't want any thing being gapped up or anything so I'm you know just going to incorporate the whole sultry black smoky thing today <laughs> and now that the complexion is done I can go ahead and do my bottom lash line taking a wet and wild small shader brush with the shade snowball effect then smudging that out then after that I will be taking the Morphe M321 brush and smudging that out as well with the shade polar bear hug and just connecting all of the shades together then taking the wet and wild brush i am going to put the hairs for the whole shade by half a third to the middle of the bottom lash line just really tight uh, right up under the lashes now with the clinique i am going to use the, the dual end it does have the primer and the mascara on both ends using the primer i'm just going to go ahead and prime the bottom lash line with two coats to make sure that those lashes are very nice, thick, and full. Now taking the mascara, I just love this wand. Clinique make very good mascara. Look at those eyelashes, beyond. Taking a nice small lip pencil or anything that's going to get a nice highlighter shade in the inner tear duct. I am going in with that highlighter out of this palette called Snow Extra. I love this shade. It gives us a yellow, gray, golden undertone and it's just wonderful. And guys, this is the finished look. I appreciate you for watching. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. Leave your comments and questions down below. And guys, give me a big thumbs up if you do like this video. Once again, thank you for watching and mwah, love you.